I'll give a few moments just to make sure everyone can hear me and see everything okay. And we'll get started with our drive through Christmas light display here at Nayak Park. It's actually starting to drizzle a little bit. Hopefully that changes. And where's the comments? There we go. Got 24 people here. I don't see any comments. What's going on? <clears throat> Can you guys hear me? Is the stream going? All right. Seems like it's working. Okay. Hello, everyone. I guess me scheduling a 3D tube and going live through YouTube actually worked this time compared to last time with the Peckful House. So glad I got that bug fixed. Hopefully we have good quality throughout the stream and I'm using the external mic so you should have no issues hearing me at least. <coughs> Excuse me. I am sitting just outside of Nyack Park here on the side street. Just wanted to get things set up. In just a moment we will drive through at least once, maybe twice. There are things on both sides to see. And I don't want to rush through it, obviously. Uh, it is a completely free display, but donations are welcomed at the end, so we'll probably drop a donation for them doing this for everyone to be able to come and experience. <coughs> and it doesn't feel like the Christmas holidays right now. It's actually 52 degrees out right here. And it's been raining pretty much the last two days. It finally stopped earlier today. I was actually planning on doing this last night, but that didn't happen with the rain. Sorry, right, we'll give it another minute and then we'll start moving. Seems to be pretty busy here tonight. I guess everyone's coming out tonight since last night was a washout. Four inches of snow night before last. Yeah, we haven't had any snow yet. Just um, like a light coating, I think, a few weeks ago. But keep hitting these warm spells. All right, I guess we'll start moving. I got you guys on the gimbal, so I'm going to have you... For the most part like this has anybody seen this yet this year i did drive through it once already obviously which i had to get pictures for to share on the facebook and to make the thumbnail so i did go through it once last week but if any of you've been through it yet let me know let me know what you think of it but i think it's actually pretty good Okay, so here we are at the entrance. We got Snowman waving hello to everyone. Candy Canes, that is the Everhart Museum in the background. Welcome to Nayog Park. Reindeer gallivanting. And this side here, there is Frosty running and sliding. And like usual, someone on my butt, so I'm going to pull over, let them pass us, because I'm not going to be in a rush to do this. That's what they don't understand. People that come to these, they like go through super fast. Don't understand why. Oh, Choo Choo Train is burned out. That's not good. 
And this drummer up here is doing a drum solo. Look how fast he's going. Must have drank a Red Bull before doing his performance. There's a little gingerbread man house. Some of these are the same things we've seen in previous years. They're just in different locations, but there are some new ones as well. That one is Santa with the Santa letter and the tray of cookies, which looks like a turkey. Peace on Earth. Up here on the pole is the candy cane and lollipop tied in a ribbon. And I believe they may have horse and carriage rides tonight. No, we're gonna go through twice. They're gonna show you the left side right now, and then we'll go through one more time, and I'll show you the right side, because there's definitely things on both sides. Over there near Brooks Mine is a lumberjack. He's actually chopping some wood, or he's supposed to be. I guess he's uh, taking his union break. Last time I was here, he's chopping wood. Yeah, scooter ride would be pretty unique, or even the e-bike. Especially on a night like tonight, it's pretty warm. May have to consider that in the future. There's the barnyard section. We got some reindeer. Something, I don't know what that is laying there. More reindeer. My pleasure there, Bill. Thanks for everyone that's tuning in to watch. Good thing this is no hunting area. Everybody be getting a buck. A lot of bucks here. A few does mixed in. I'm going to pull over again. Got people on my butt. These ones I think are new, or at least they're updated with lights. They're really colorful. There's uh, some ice skaters. I don't know if these people pass by. Come on. <clears throat> yeah, this section, super bright. Figure skaters, ice skaters. And it wouldn't be a Scranton Christmas light display if it wasn't some decorations out. The train was out and now the uh, elves feeding and taking care of the reindeer and the toy shop, they're all burned out. Maybe they're hooked up to the clapper. Somebody walked by, clapped on their hands, turned it off. Now that one's lit up. He's getting a bubble bath. It's a bubble bath. Almost looks like he's uh, tooting some bubbles out there. Up on the light pole is a, a top, I believe that is. I know on the screen it's looking kind of like fuzzy and hazy. It's just the lights. It's trying to overcompensate for the exposure. The drummer soldier section. I'm sure there's probably an official name for them, but it's soldiers marching and the trumpet or... Whatever they're doing, use your imagination. <laughs> Behind them is the penguin section, complete with the igloo. It's a nice little spot to have. Looks like they added some more penguins from previous years. One looks like he's jumping into a snowbank, and this one is catching some fish. Dinner time. All right, we got a lull in the area here. Right side, we're going to show there are some things burned out again. Up ahead is the colorful Electric City 
sign. You know, from the very bottom to the very top. <clears throat> Stonehenge, yes, I've seen pictures. That one looks pretty nice. I just never got there. I don't really go on a chase for Christmas directions, uh, directions, Christmas displays. You know, if there's ones local like I, these ones, I do them, but I don't really go out of my way too much to see other ones. That one's a, looks like a tiger running from the zoo. I think it's a tiger. I wonder if his name's Tony. This is the former zoo. Hey, you two, quit hanging around. Oh, they're monkeys. That's what they're supposed to do. Bad joke. A little manger scene there. I believe that's a pelican. Toucan, maybe? Toucan Sam? They used to have a dinosaur here. Now it's elephant, two moose, and it looks like maybe a pony or a mule. Nice American flag there on top of the rocks. And everyone that is chatting and stopping by to hang out, thank you for doing so. I'm not reading all your comments. I'm just focusing on the lights here. But definitely appreciate you being here. And up here is something different, which I think they've had in the past. Just it looked different. They had it in a different area. This is the 12 days of Christmas. And they have them in one big line here. I think it looks pretty neat. If you want to see better photos of what we're seeing here tonight, just go over to my Facebook page. I did share a bunch of photos in preparation for tonight's live stream. Yeah, for a free display, it's not that bad. It could be worse. It's been worse in the past, but they've really have been going strong with it for a long time now. And it's just nice to do something for free in comfort of your car. It looks, is that a panda bear? I wonder if he knows where the nearest Panda Express is. <laughs> little amusement park ride, Ferris wheel. I've been on that one that fast at the Bloomsburg Fair and tell you, that's not fun. I would be getting sick. And here we come to the farm area. We got an elf trying to give a reindeer a smooch. Hopefully none of the elves see. And then we got a Hopefully it shows through. I'll try to zoom in. We've got a tractor back there. I know RJ will appreciate that. Looks like it could be a John Deere. Sorry, it's not orange there, RJ. Candy cane windmill. The barn with some reindeer sticking their heads out. I don't know what that is. Maybe elves jumping in leaves? Not sure. Some presents, a little tree. Those elves look like um, the Smurfs, actually. They have those kind of hats. And a fire truck. Ooh, Frosty is war warming up his buns by the fire. He better not stay there too long. Turn into a puddle. Elves got some marshmallows, and there's Santa driving the fire truck with the tree on top. And the background is, I don't know who's in the sled, but they're going over some jumps. It's a runaway sled. Gingerbread jumping into uh, a pool of water, must be on the high dive. And there's a working train. And I'm gonna pull over again. I'm getting blinded in the mirror. 
I'm glad they have one train here. It's a steam train. Looks like a 220 wheel configuration. There's a hippo jumping out of the present. Hey, Aaron, doing good. Just letting the uh, people that are in a rush to get by me here. Not to be, uh, well, you know, keep tradition going. How is the stream look? <laughs> is it clear, pixelated, freezing up at all? The only thing on my end, it looks really washed out with the exposure trying to compensate, but other than that, hopefully everything's all on par. I'm trying to tap to adjust it, it's not working. One more car. One more car again. I'm gonna have to find a way to mount this gimbal to the roof of the car or side of the car, so I don't have to hold it the entire time. I haven't done it in so long, my arm's out of, out of whack here. I'm not used to holding a gimbal or anything in my arm for a continued live stream like this. Except for Peckville, I bounce back and forth with my arms. There's the uh, toy factory. Hopefully they're making something good. Oh, somebody drove by is smoking the devil's lettuce. Nothing says holiday spirit like devil's lettuce. A little shower scene. Wave hello to Mr. and Mrs. Claus. They also do have an animated scene up here on the right, which goes to music with some singing Christmas trees. We'll stop and see that on our second time around. Here's where the pool used to be, which is all filled in now. They even took the slides down. But there's the chopper and a snow, snow globe. Get to the chopper. Which one's your favorite color tree? There's white. I guess it's white. White, green, purple, pink, blue, and white again. Well, you guys already know my answer. I give them a donation here. Okay. Hello. Hi. There you go. Thank you. All right. Anybody in the back? No, just me. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh sorry. Okay. I'll take one. Thank you. Score candy cane. Conrail blue. More reindeer, some hockey players. And I think that's a goal right there. Yeah, there's a game on. Yeah, we know that's from, I know RJ knows. Game on. Car, game on. And here's the finale. I think these are two turtle doves. It's a pretty big display, actually. Probably 20 by like 17 feet high, 20 feet wide. Party time. Excellent. Woo, 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 woo. Swing. All right, that was round one, trip one. We're going to go through one more time, and I'm going to focus on the right side now. So just give me a couple moments and we'll get back in line. This is what the park looks like at nighttime. Oh, some pumpkins. Funny enough, I actually saw that movie, Wayne's World in the movies. I had my mom take me back when I was young. When it came out, I never knew anything about Wayne's World, never even seen the skit on SNL. But the previous for the movie looked super funny. So when I was young, whenever it came out, if anyone could actually look up the year Wayne's World came out, I could tell you how old I was. But I had my mom take me to the movies, and she was like, what the hell is this? 
I enjoyed it as a kid, but enjoy it much more now. Some, is that Garth quotes? 92, so I was 11 years old. 11 years old with my mom in the movies to see Wayne's World. Never even knew what the hell swing meant. <laughs> Wayne's World 2 was pretty good, too. All right, so we've seen the left side. We're going to focus on the right. It's, it's beneficial because I'm going to give my hand a break. And there we got Frosty again sliding. Head first. I think many could agree that through the 80s and early 90s where when many of the great movies came out. Now, a few years ago, they used to actually have the display in this area. They used to have you drive through there, but the road's pretty narrow and parts of it are really just kind of in bad shape now. Cars are bottoming out and it's getting to be a hazard, so no longer do they have the display back there, but usually used to go through there years ago. Now, there's a lot of cars here. That's because this is also used for parking for the hospital, for the employees. They get shoveled over here. And if anyone is an Indiana Jones fan like me, has anyone seen the preview or trailer for the new Indiana Jones movie coming out next year? I was severely disappointed by Kingdom of the Crystal Skulls, but hopeful they could redeem themselves with the new one, but they honestly should have stopped with number three with uh, Last Crusade. Junior? I said, don't call me Junior. <laughs> All right, so this is a bunch of angels over here. Straight ahead, I think I failed the show before, is the reindeer jumping over the road. That's been here for a long time. It's a, one of the more classic scenes that they have. That one there is a squirrel climbing the tree. Squirrel, squirrel moment. And another squirrel over there to find gravity. I'm going to pull over here because they have some things uh, off to the side. I'll tell you what, next year, or if we get a super warm day, maybe I'll come through again on the scooter. I can definitely mount you guys on the handlebars. That'd be pretty fun, I think. Whoever mentioned that, that's a good idea. There's a pretty neat animated carriage, horse and carriage, horse and buggy. And there's a horse and sleigh, I guess you'd want to call that. And he's wearing like a green top hat. Forget Kingdom of the Crystal Skull and travel back in time. Yes, <laughs> I'm right there with you. I saw it in the movies the day it came out. And yeah, I was severely disappointed. And here's a bunch of, I guess these are what, poinsettias? Poinsettias? And it says, peace on earth. I always see people standing in front of here getting photos taken, which doesn't make for a very good photo because anyone who knows about photography and lighting, if it's lit behind you and dark in front of you, well, you're not gonna see your face in the photo unless you use a flash. So you're gonna look like a silhouette trying to take a picture in front of there. Eh, I guess it's more or less for the experience. Great Outdoors is fantastic, and this the other day, watched it on DVD, Uncle Buck. Here's a quarter. Go downtown and have a rat. Now that thing off your face. Good day, madam. 
John Candy, one of the all-time greats. And my new love, I should say, new favorite movie I love, I've been watching kind of a lot because it's on Pluto TV a lot, is Planes, Trains, Automobiles. That is such a funny movie. So many classic lines. So here is Santa and the dinosaur. He used to be where the elephant is now in the zoo. And for a while, for many years, the dinosaur was broken. He wasn't moving. It was just both of his heads lit up, so he looked like a two-headed dinosaur. Oh, the peacock is working now. I guess someone did the clapper. Clap on, ch -ch, clap off, ch -ch, clap on, clap off, the clapper. That light down there is coming from the treehouse, which you've seen in the past. It is closed this time of year, but they do have it lit up down there. And far down below that is the gorge, where many people have unfortunately lost their lives. And it's illegal to swim there now, but people still do it. There's somebody standing there, texting by the wreath. Here's some carolers. Do you take any requests? Can you do Devil Came Down to Georgia? No? Oh, well, it's worth a try. And toys. Is it abandoned? <laughs> a ball, a drum, and a spinny top. Crikey, there's a croc. What's he munching on? Did he get a bystander? Help me! Help me! <laughs> there used to be cages here when the zoo was uh, open back in the 80s. They used to have, I think, monkeys in them, if I'm not mistaken. There's a rhinoceros. And what the heck is that? Oh, it looks like a koala bear leaning, making the tree lean over the palm tree, I guess. I'm going to pull over again. That line of cars behind me. Well, if anybody's looking to go for a, a flight, Santa's got room for one more in the airplane. So that's how he gets around so quickly. It's not the reindeer. That's just for show. He actually has a plane. There's a parade of cars coming behind me so we're going to hang out here for a moment turtle and uh, another deer and sleigh I do know there's a few viewers, local to the area. I know one of them commented on Facebook tonight saying they have plans to come here, I believe this weekend. So if you're watching, hopefully this gives you a good preview as to what to see, what to expect. And if you can't make it here, well, same thing. Now you know what to expect if you ever were to come. But I think it's, a, as I said, pretty good for free. All right, we're gonna make a, make a run for it here. Here's the snowman family. Snowman dog, even. Looks like Ralph from the, the Muppets. Is he even a kitty cat? Wonder if one of their names is Olaf. Hey there, Lewis. And yes, everyone who is watching, if you are enjoying this, and if you don't feel like commenting, at the very least, please give a thumbs up. It lets me know that you guys uh, at least appreciate the effort, even if you don't like the Christmas lights, but I think many of you do. And there's the, uh, RJ could probably help me out with this. It looks like the bear from the muffler company. 
bear mufflers or something like a automotive parts store or muffler store that's what that bear reminds me of and let it snow Jack in the box he's been here for many years And down there, I call him Old Man Winter. He's blowing out the cold air and some snowflakes. More colorful trees. Does anybody know what I'm talking about with the bear? It was for like a muffler business or a muffler company or a automotive repair store. It had a had a bear as like their mascot. I'll have to look it up later. Rocking horse, but he's not rocking. Oh, this one must be a, a circus snowman. He's actually juggling. Pretty nifty. Peace on Earth. Yeah, I know Taco Bell tonight, that was definitely fun times in the past, but we're just doing the the Christmas lights here at the park tonight. What is this? So this is, uh, I think it's Santa or somebody going yard down the snow slope, ski slope. Obviously, it's made out of snow. <laughs> Looks like you landed it. Here's a look from the distance, just to show you guys. Big tree decorated here. The toy village, toy factory, Mr. and Mrs. Claus. And in the distance, you can actually see the backside of the igloo that we drove by earlier. But we're gonna pull up here near the singing animated display, which is on the side of the building, complete with reindeer and Christmas trees. So they are singing, um, having music playing, which you guys could probably hear. And they have the mouths kind of lip singing, Milli Vanilli style. Can you guys hear the music? It's coming through really distorted, but I can hear it. Great Bears Muffler and Brake Service. Yes, that's it. Surprised you didn't know that one, RJ. But yes, thank you for checking that out, that info. Confirming my suspicions. All right, so I'm gonna hang out here for just a moment, chat with you guys, because we did go through twice and we're pretty much near at the end of it. Yeah, I have some lighting now. You can actually see me. I was singing most wonderful time of the year. Is that um, is that Sinatra maybe? So has everyone officially had their Christmas tree up yet? Those of you that do trees, is anyone waiting until last minute? Ours is officially up uh, as of Thanksgiving weekend. Has anybody made it out to Peckville Christmas House yet besides myself and RJ? Santa hat. <laughs> it's on loan, I guess. Couldn't find it. Not yet. Got the outdoor lights up. Fortunate we've had some pretty mild weather to do that type of stuff. No tree for 30 years due to house full of cats. We're very fortunate the cats don't mind it, don't bother it. We have cats and 
you have yet to have one jump in. Once in a while, one of them will pot an ornament, but typically they just lay under the tree. Except for Salence, he just does try to eat the white fluffy stuff, but we're pretty good on keeping that cleaned up. Damien's handmade ornaments on the tree, nice. I know there's a local Christmas tree lot near me with the live trees, and they're probably about half sold out already. They've been pretty busy there each and every night. Now, oh, forgot to mention, tomorrow, probably late afternoon, at the latest early evening, I'm gonna put a poll on my community tab regarding something that was kind of brought to my attention about doing something uh, more in the Christmas spirit, so to say. I don't want to give away spoilers, but I'm going to put a poll out tomorrow based on the results of that poll. We'll determine if we're going to go forth with it or not. But let's just say uh, I've been contacted by some people with some opportunities and want to run it by you guys. So look for the poll tomorrow afternoon, early evening at the latest. And if there is a big majority of yes, I'm going to get back in touch with them and schedule to make it happen. They won't be lives because they're actually pretty remote areas, but there would definitely be um, something new to my channel. I'll just say that. So <laughs> I don't want to say anything else. Oh, some Pennsylvania polka music. No, I mean, I always go to Jim Thorpe. So, <laughs> but uh, like I said, something new for my channel, something I've never shown before, some place I've never been to before. So something completely different never heard this song. It's a, like a polka Santa song. <laughs> We're at 37 minutes. Well, I'm going to keep this going until 40 minutes. So another three minutes, I'll chat with you guys. If any, since I don't have cable, we stream everything. Have the any cable channel been running Christmas movies as of yet? I know, what is it, TBS? TBS, I think, usually runs Christmas Story Marathon for Christmas Eve. I have it on DVD. I already watched it a couple times. I know uh, usually cable channels or definitely Hallmark run some Christmas, mu Christmas movies coming up to Christmas season. YouTube didn't say a word. I figured that would happen. That's why I did put it out on my community tab on Facebook saying I was going to be going live and schedule the stream ahead of time. But I know not, not everyone sees those. I haven't watched any Christmas movies yet. You Grinch. <clears throat> There's a lot of cars coming through here. It's actually pretty busy. Must be Santa Claus. Yeah, that's what I heard him saying. Is that a polka song? I know the Pennsylvania polka song, which they play in Groundhog Day with Bill Murray. Hallmark movies. I, honestly, I think I've maybe seen maybe two or three Hallmark movies in my whole entire life. I just never got into them. I just like the more mainstream movies that have been out. My pleasure for the live stream. As of right now, I don't know when I'll be live again. I do know I do plan on going live, though. I'm going to release a edited video with my new Strasbourg locomotive in the JPville train layout. That'll probably be sometime after the new year. Once I do debut that video, then I'll probably do a live stream just running some trains. I've done that in the past and people seem to enjoy that. But between now and then, if I do feel the urge or see something that's worthy of a live stream, uh, definitely let you know. I'll try and schedule it like I did this time. Hopefully that helped at least get you guys aware I was going to be live. But sometimes it might just be last minute. Who knows? <clears throat> The animated 60s Frosty, yes. Happy birthday! All right, everyone, we're coming up on the 40 minute mark here. So I just want to say thank you so much for hanging out with me tonight. Um, no major updates for the layout, just some small changes, a couple buildings, people, figures, Easter egg items to find, but no major changes as far as reconstruction or anything like that. But you'll see it when the video and live stream does happen. But, um, in the meantime, hopefully everyone has a fantastic week. At least we're halfway through the week right now. Friday is going to be a video that many of you have been wanting to see for a long time. It's going to be an abandoned exploration. 
It's going to be featuring none other than RJ78 Productions, and it's going to be not only rather interesting because we got chased out of a location, but kind of humorous as well. So Friday night, that will be out. Not a super long video, around 20 minutes long, but it's a location that was definitely worthy to film and share with you guys. So that'll be out Friday night. And uh, make sure to check my community tab tomorrow so you can cast your vote for the um, updated information. Until then, until then, everyone, take care, stay safe wherever you are. Have a happy and safe holiday, Christmas season, Yule Log, Festivus. You know what it is, what I'm talking about. All right, Jay, cut it out. You're rambling. Have a good night, everyone. See you in the next video.